BBC apologises after Gary Lineker during Far Cup coverage. The BBC and Gary Lineker have both spoken out after the BBC's Far Cup coverage was interrupted by sex sounds. Tuesday's pre-kick-off coverage of Wolves' game against Liverpool was obscured by nearly 10 minutes of NSFW moaning sounds being played over the air. Lineker struggled to keep a straight face over the loud noises audible on screen. I don't know who's making that sound, Lineker admitted to viewers. Related, dancing on ice returns but viewers have one complaint producers attempted at first to block out the sounds by cutting to a press room interview with Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp. Yet the moaning continued once the show cut back to Lineker speaking with Alan Scherer. It's a bit noisy, Lineker said with a chuckle I don't know whether someone is sending something on someone's phone. NSFW footage below, the sound interruptions occurred as the live coverage was already having technical problems. Due to a power cut at the Molyneux Stadium, a BBC spokesperson has told Digital Spy, we apologise to any viewers offended during the live coverage of the football this evening. We are investigating how this happened later, Gary Lineker posted a photo on Twitter of a mobile phone that he said was found taped to the set. Taking a light-hearted approach to the sabotage, well, we found this tape to the back of the set. As sabotage goes it was quite amusing, the BBC pundit tweeted. During the 10 minutes of interrupted content, fans were at times puzzled and entertained to have the football coverage nearly drowned out by the erotic sounds. Somebody will be getting the sack playing loud porn sounds while Gary Lineker opened his mouth on pre-match chat. One viewer wrote, Related, Love Island fans confused as launch show hit with technical issues another asked. Is there someone sabotaging the Wolves Liverpool game on 83 yard 23 yard 83 yard 23 porn sounds? Lights going out, VAR down, gonna be a fun night someone really really likes the far cup by the sounds of it, a third joked.